you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video on abstract cc series and in today's video we are going to discuss earlier function so what we are going to take we are going to take few use cases and understand how earlier can make it really easy so let's jump on to the excel sheet where i have created a couple of examples uh, so one of the example which i had is i have the stage and i have date and i want to know the date of the next stage now stage may be a sorted number or unsorted number we will discuss while we are creating that how can we take if the stage is uh, sequential then there could be a easier way if it is non sequential then there could be a different way okay so what we are going to do is let's duplicate this data let's copy this and create one more sheet and there we can have stage let's say it start jumping let's say it's 1 3 it's 5 it's 9 and it's 10 so there is no sequence there could be data like this so data could be like the previous one the sheet we have or the data could be like this sheet where uh, we have the data in the sequence and data could in not in sequence now we may want to get this date here or means on the pre on the earlier date we want to get the next date or in this date uh, we want to get the earlier date all those could be the use cases or the cases could be little bit more complex like you have a name and a stage now stage could be sequential or name or a stage is here stage names are non sequential now so let's take the first example let's start with this example now if i go to this example and let me go to power bi and start pasting these examples here so i go to enter data and i paste my first set of data here and let me call it data 1 the earlier use case one and after we load we need to make sure that at the date is a date column hopefully it does that automatically so we go here and now we i got my data now the very simple thing i want is every stage i want to know when the next stage started or i want to like take a date diff that could be the one thing which i wanted to have so now because these things are in sequence i'm going to tell you when the things are not in sequence and things are in sequence how can you do that now here what we can do here is now i want to know the next date so here because the stages are in sequence we have an easier way so let me get the next date so next date when i want to get so when i want to get a date which is greater than something i have i i can use max x filter i want to travel across this table itself so data one is the table i want to travel at. and what i want i want here the date which is uh from the next stage and the stages are in sequence so we can simply say stage equals to earlier stage now earlier stage here is referring to the the stage number in this row this is as simple as that so in the first row what i am saying is the earlier stage now what i want in the two i want the row one or in the row one i want two okay that's what so i am going to get one or two or three or four what i want let me say i want one, one minus one so in the first row we will not get anything okay and what i want to get again i want to get the date again and we have to use an aggregate function because we want to return only one date so now i got the next date what should have to happen if i want to get a previous date now we go to create a new column and we say previous and instead of plus 1 minus 1 i'm going to do plus 1 here i got the next date so what i'm saying the date earlier stage means the current row date so the date in uh, so stage which is the current stage get me the date which is stage which is plus 1 which is 2 and get me the date of that 
Now, sometime what happens, let's say these stages name right now are in sequ sequence. Now, what happens if they, they, they are not in sequence? Like we have another example. Now, there would be two ways. But before I jump to that example, I'll tell you how do you take a date diff. Now, I don't need to create that many means. I don't need to create a column. I can actually do it in the one column itself and I'm going to re do it for one of them. So I say diff with next. So, so basically next is basically giving me the earlier and the previous uh, uh, is giving me the next one. Okay. So diff, let's only call it diff. So what if max x is giving me the stage, which is lesser than me. So it's going to give me the, uh, a date less than that. So in the date diff, we are going to use the earlier date first, the later date later, and then we say day. So you can see the date diff. Now we can get a date diff. Now let's go to the second set of data where now the stages are not in sequence. Now to get this, we have two ways. Uh, we don't want to create a table. We in column, we want to create a table. So let me paste it into enter data. And in the enter data, let me call it data. Two. Now again, in the data two, we have to use earlier. Now the choice is with us. Okay. We have paste. Yeah. So choices with us is, should we take the date into the consideration or should we take the stage into the consideration? Now there could be possibilities where you come across a situation where you can't use date as the next possibility, or you can't use stage as the next possibility. So let's cover both the cases. And this time we are going to find out only one way. So we are going to find out, uh, in the previous row, in this row, I want to get the next one. Okay. So let's say if I want to know the stage and then I want to know the date. So first of all, I need to know what is the, my next stage. Okay. So S T G next stage is max X filter table, which is data two comma stage is greater than earlier stage. So whatever my stage is there, it should be greater than that stage. Okay. And no plus one, because we don't know this is going to be plus one now. So we don't know what stage is going to be. Number could be anything. Okay. And the filter ends and then we found out the stage. And what I'm going to do is alt enter, alt enter. And let me return stage here variable stage underscore next stage. Okay. Now the next stage, which is coming here is right now is 10. So we have to actually use here min X. So when you say greater than you have to use min X and when you use less than, so when you want to use less than, then you should use min max X. So if I want to go find the previous one, I want to find less than myself, then I need to get the max state. And if I want to find greater than me, then I need to take min X. So let's take min X because that's what we want in this case. So you now understand when we need to take min X and max X. Okay. So now we know the stage using this stage. We have to again use the same formula. Now here, once we want to use the formula, the little bit difference is going to be the, instead of saying greater than this stage, I'm going to say equal to stage. And then I'm going to return date. So now I got the date of the next stage. Now I'm doing this using the stage actually, remember this thing. And if you want date diff, now this date is greater. So let's say if I want a date diff and I could do in the same column, but just to showcase you, I create a new column and next date diff, we call it. And then here, because the the only date is a smaller one date diff date comma this comma day now what happens if these stage are not in a sort table format right now they're in a sort table format stages have some kind of a name 
and you can't sort them now when you can't sort them then you can't use the stage to find out the next stage the only way you can find out is the date because that's the incremental property you have how to find out the date greater than a date so the use case come here is now the next date is not going to come via stage is going to come via date so we say next date one and this time we don't say minx date one stage greater than earlier stage we say date greater than the current rows date then return us the date and now we are not talking about the stage so we are getting a date now and then when we go here and find out a minx date then we oh, 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 we are going to say a date is equal to this one and actually we don't need this because we got a date actually greater than that so let's return that date actually underscore next st stg stg now we could have called this next date now if the date diff you need you you can simply do a date diff with this one so this is the way you get the next date now same way we have another set of data now this data basically here in this data we have again a stage which is sequence but we have names now now what is the complication we are getting here is basically now we have a data where the dates and the stages are part of another group which is name here now i don't want simply a date i want date even within my group so the data three i want the last date or the next date within a and we are going to have two use cases one use case is where we can use a stage and the second one we will take this data where we can't use this st stage name we don't have a sorting we have done the same stuff there in data one and data two but let's look at this one now, now how do you do that now our objective here is to find out within a same name so i need to now restrict myself to the name available in the row and then find out the next stage date okay so let's create a new column next stage date okay next date now so we say okay min x max x right now because we are going to use equation equal to here i'm going to tell what does that means so we say data 3 and in data 3 we are talking about name should be equal to earlier name means whatever name i have in this row same name you should consider and the second thing which i want to know is stage should be equals to earlier stage plus one so it should be if i'm one then it should be two and then i need the date of that particular stage so now what is happening in this one so the stage one is on first the stage two is on fifth next one is on 11th next one is on 13th the next one is on 16th now you know if you do minus one then you can get another kind of dates and date diff you can do the date diff for the date here the date being the first argument because it's the smaller one now this is when you uh, you have the sortable stages now you can have scenario why like we have this example where uh, we don't have sortable stages also so let's paste this data now and let's load this data what's happening here in this data data 4 that we don't have even sortable stages now this is the same case we discussed where we are going to use date itself to find out the greater than and less than now what happens if these stages name are also same along with the name and you only want to find out the date diff between the two dates then we are going to take one additional premise stage equal to stage in now our case that's not the case okay so you can have n number of equal to you can have name equal to name stage equal to stage and date is greater than or date is less than date if it is greater than use min x if it is less than use max x thumb rule reverse okay so let's create a new column here and in the new column now because the stage is name i can't use the next date the, the way to find out next date is date only and we say 
min x because we want to greater date min x filter data for and in the data for name is equals to earlier name whatever name i have in this row the same name i want to be in the row when i'm searching in the entire table and column actually looks into the complete table so putting those filter is restricting it see major look into the row context column look into the complete table and that's why we need to put the filters to make sure that we are restricting our table scope we are not parsing to the complete table now if, if it's a simple sum like if you do a major sum sum in a major then you are going to get the row context sum the whatever is there in the context with date is there if you will get date sum which is name is there you will get the name of some of the name stage is there you will get the sum of the stage but here if you do for a column you're going to just going to get the sum of all the stages or all the rows but you have to put a filter to restrict it so you have to tell him that okay name is equal to name stage equal to stage then give me the sum then it's going to give the name and stage sum but it's going to do give it for every row it's not like the major which is grouping at the visual level okay so now back to this again now what we need we need date which should be greater than the date in the row earlier date and what we plan to return here after we close the filter we only want to return the date now when you look at the dates now you see the dates are within the name see we have a 19th here so if it would have been continuous we would have got 19 for this one also isn't it but we have date till 16 here and this is not crossing the boundary of the name this is again not crossing the boundary of the name so, and you can see the next dates so in this way we have used earlier and we are able to get the data from the next set of rows so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you